Sean Allen, Fran back on MLB tonight. I mean, what a showstopper this guy was oh, in the 2020 me. postseason, Randy <laughs> Rosarena. And because he, he didn't really have enough, uh, we didn't see, he didn't have enough quality at bats or yeah. uh, appearances to, to qualify for rookie. He'll be a rookie again in 2021, mm. and so he's going to be obviously a favorite to be uh, the American yeah. League Rookie of the Year. A couple of guys who, who stood out to you, same situations where we saw them, yeah. but they didn't play long enough to qualify as rookies. Who do you think yeah. we should keep our eye on? Well, you know what? I mean, I live in Pittsburgh, and I got a chance to see some of these young guys, but Cabrian Hayes, this guy's impressive. Son of Charlie Hayes. Uh, you know, big time pedigree. It goes back to 2014. I, I, I coached this kid at the uh, Under Armour ah! American game. Like, hey, man, this kid can hit. This kid can feel. This kid does it all. And then the next year, he was the first round pick for, for the Pittsburgh Pirates. They love this guy. One of the biggest pluses of Cabrian Hayes is this right here, his glove. Gold glove caliber player, just like his dad was over there in third base. Has a cannon of an arm, has great footwork, can really get rid of the ball, charges the ball well. And, and I think one thing you're going to see is he's not going to struggle in the field. That's the big thing with him. The big question with him is can this guy hit for power at the big league level? He's had under a 400 slugging percentage in the minor leagues, but the power's there. It's in batting practice. They saw it, but they saw it here in his, in his, in his small sample size up there with the Buccos. He hit 376, five home runs, 11 RBIs, but he had a 682 slug. Look at this. Using the big bar, 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 part of the park going big fly dead center right center left center so this is a big thing that was impressive for the Pirates Derek Shelton said he's really excited by the way this kid turned it on coming up and sometimes for guys like this get to the big leagues start to develop see what's there and I think uh, you know you look, you look at his 2020 20 stats right here pretty impressive his on base his slug well over uh, you know a thousand there 376 average obviously that's a small small sample size only 75 plate appearances mm. but this kid has a chance to be a special player and, and, and the power will develop and you mentioned I mean great pedigree I mean yes. father Charlie played Charlie had that big yeah. afro man <laughs> he was looking smooth back in the day no doubt yeah. about that I'll, I'll give you your guy last out of the 96 World Series for the Yankees that's right uh, uh, the start of that dynasty uh, Sixto Sanchez we saw him in the postseason really emerged as a guy naturally for this to say wow centerpiece for the JT Riamuto trade with the Phillies I'm starting off with this changeup, and you know why case because this guy who throws a billion throws more change-ups than he does his fastball comes off of his middle finger really gets great pronation it is unbelievable 145 batting average against in his starts last year the nine starts throws a slider it's a little bit of a get me over I really am looking to see this guy early in the year it hasn't wasn't as good last year I know it's a short snippet but he ended up having a 340 batting average against check this out guys he averaged 99 miles an hour. This is 100 miles an hour. I told, uh, hey, don't, don't give me anything under uh, 90, uh, 100 miles an hour. 100 miles an hour, he hits 101. So we know he's got the stuff. He's filled out. He actually got a little big. Let's see, uh, uh, you know, size-wise, he's not very tall, six feet tall. He had a really good game against the Cubs. He gave up a few runs against the Braves in the postseason. What a run for the Marlins last year. And this guy, I'm telling you, when I watch all of it, and I had to start with a guy who throws 100, Fran. More change-ups wow. yeah. than a guy that can spot up a heater that's from 98 to 100 miles an hour. This guy's going to be good. But you know who else was really impressed with his, his change-up? Pedro Martinez. Uh, I did a show earlier last year, and Pedro was on, and we actually did an interview uh, with him. And uh, he was he was blown away. He said, actually, the kid's change-up early on was better than his. Wow. Well, yeah, Pedro's yeah. was elite, so. <laughs>